My name is Timothy and this is XPR Garage. This video is going to be a little bit all over the place because I had gotten this 1969. It's a Ford F-250 from a guy. I originally I was wanting to purchase it but I didn't get a price. And he was wanting it worked on. So I went ahead and worked on it. And it turned out in the middle of me working on it and I finally got it running. He went ahead and let me get it. It runs and drives and it does stop. It probably hasn't ran for what I'm figuring 35 to 40 years. Um... So the thing with this truck, the engine, he thought it was locked up. It did not seem to be locked up. And then the valve seemed to be locked up whenever I got it. The driver's side valve cover was off. I was told that there was a valve train problem or valve stuck. Um, checked everything on this, the driver's side, cleaned it up. And I moved it over to the passenger side, took the valve cover off and looked. There was three bent push rods and one broke one all on this left or the right bank of the motor. Went ahead and put a coil, points, condenser, and some plugs on it. He had a carburetor. It was remanufactured and it's not running good and it's I don't know, this must have been a defective carburetor or something. Because the idle screws, you can sit there and just wiggle them. And it was leaking so much air through there. So I went ahead and did the wrong way and put a 2 4 barrel adapter. And made it a 4 barrel working on a 2 barrel. Not performance wise, but it's not a performance truck. It runs though. Um, but I got it fixed. And the part of the video of me getting it moving from its own spot, I've been tinkering with it and cleaning it up, but this will be a handy tool for me to move some of my cars that have no engines and stuff like that, especially into the shop because there's a hill up there and it's kind of pain to get stuff in and out. That and motor moving motors these things got a lot of use for them the truck i think will work perfect for it um i eventually would like to build a wheel lift of some kind that uses the crane style so i'll be figuring that out but as far as i know it's a 1969 f-250 with a 360 it's got the four speed Chain driven PTO for the winch. Um, some fancy seats that are coming out because they don't fit me. And I think I got a bench seat that'll work. I need to change the plastic. But all the gauges seem to work and all the lights. Warning lights like the alternator and oil pressure seem to work. Some of the lights work. The radio works. Um, pretty good little solid truck. But this video is going to be a little bit over the place because I didn't feel comfortable recording at the very beginning because it wasn't my truck at the time and I wasn't at my place. So I didn't feel comfortable on recording that. And then I started recording a little bit. That's when I finally got the truck. I did an oil change to it, which it really needed and it probably needs it again soon. But fuel tank works or good so far. Sending unit surprisingly works. But this truck has sat for 30 to 40 years. I tried looking at a date code and I think it's 60 something. And these new tires, the he had put new tires on it when he parked it. But the guy had a uh, older guy, he had owned a service station. And he used it, and he used a lot around where I live. And I guess his service station finally, he was done with it, and he just never wanted to get rid of the truck. This, this was his 
this was his truck. This was his baby. And he got to the point where him and his son were just not able to work on it. And I've been told that there's been a lot of people ask about this truck and try to get it. And he wouldn't sell it. And I guess I was the right person at the right time. But I want to get this thing going again. And I'd like to drive it around and use it. But I figure I'd go ahead and let you know that this, you guys know that this video is a little bit over the place. And I'm going to try to get back to my usual schedule. I know I usually post on Thursdays. This one's behind because I just couldn't figure out what I was doing with this video. So hopefully it's not going to be too bad. All right. Well, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Yeah. had an oil change in a very long time. Oh, there it goes. Fresh oil is gonna be good for this old girl.
the old girl to move. She probably hasn't moved there since uh, 35, 40 years. My phone's about to die, so I'm gonna try to do this quick. Runs real good, brakes actually work. That's nice. All right, well, I'll let you guys know more.